Okay, okay, okay. Fall is absolutely lovely, but we still got some work to get done. We gotta pick up all this grass and get her put away. That way our cows have enough for the winter, but we should be doing just fine. Things are looking good. It's my favorite time of the year, but we're cleaning up for winter. So there you go. That's what's going on. It's episode 139 of Oak Mountain. What's going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here. And, well, we're just going to start off the day by hopping on the shop. Let's unsail today. Hey, is this the same? I think this is the same tractor we already have, and I quite enjoy it. It's been good to us, but I don't think we need a second one. Um, we would like to get a weeder. Um, we got to get a hoe. I feel like we need to just buy one at this point, and we definitely could afford it. Um... <coughs> You know what? I think we might just do that. We're going to get her going a bit quicker because we got some bigger fields. And uh, we're just going to straight up buy one. And hopefully we can get it delivered as well. That would be a huge help. All right. Well, hopefully that can get all up and rolling once that gets uh, delivered up there for us. Got some food for the doggy. And, uh, geez, I feel like we should hop in a truck. I don't know what we're going to end up doing today exactly. But, uh doesn't hurt to have one down there. I feel like yesterday we could have just walked down to the yard and we would have been fine. But uh, we'll hop in something today and just see how she goes. What the day brings. Um, I think first things first as well. Another big job to get done is uh, collecting those stones. They don't necessarily have to get done right now. But if it can get done before the winter season, that would be optimal, I think. Um... You know what? Let's hop in this guy. He hasn't done some work for a little bit, so she can't hurt. Just got to snake her out of here a little bit. Wonderful. And we're just going to keep backing it on up to the stone picker right here. And then we can head over. We got a round field that's full of stones. I had a ton of them. It got plowed up, and it's looking much better. But once the stones get cleared, it'll really be in good shape. So we're just going to pop over the long bridge here, and we'll be there in a hot second. Cutting through our wonderful little dirt trail here. All our new paths are coming in at clutch, I will say. I, I do enjoy having just more ways to get around, you know what I mean? It is uh, it's quite nice. So this is the field in question just over here. As you can see, tons of stones. Tons of stones. A little muddy, too. All right, well, there they go. Um, I just told them, hey, if you want to send it in a circle all the way around, just keep spiraling, go for it, my friend. Uh, so I think that is that's what they're doing. Um, so, hey, both fields in the works right now. That is awesome. That leaves us time to collect our grass, which is a big job that we usually take on ourselves. But once all those things are done, we got all the weeds out of the ground in our oat field. We got all our stones picked here. Of course, these fields don't need anything more. Um, and they're already looking fantastic here. But they're going to stay this way for uh, for the winter season until springtime. And then we'll cultivate it up. And then replant probably some corn. Fire this big boy up. And we'll get him pulled out. Oh, 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 okay. Actually... You know what? Mm, well, uh, oh, oh, yeah, you know what? We will. We'll use this guy. I was thinking, you know what? Let's maybe use the Fent, but uh, it's not hooked up to the tandem trailers right there. We're going to need something besides the forage harvester to be moving these trailers around. And that is all good. We have two already over there that the forage harvester can hook up to and just start foraging away. But uh, we will need a couple more to swap onto, as we kind of do. And it should be a good time. Um, we could, I don't know, I guess get some more trailers or get some help with the forage harvesting or something like that. But uh, I don't know, it seems like it's a job that we can kind of take on ourselves and we've been able to. And I think the sooner we get her done, the better. The cows are good for now, so we can always take care of them. Once these jobs are done and uh, they'll be nice and topped up for the time being. And then uh, we should be pretty good to start looking at some other stuff for a nice uh, full winter season there coming up. So I think we'll just pull up along here. Something like that. 
and drop that off right there. Leave plenty of space. Oh, pop in this big daddy, and we got these trailers right here as well. And uh, we can pretty much, like I said, get right to it. So I'm looking forward to that. Unfold Doc Ock. Oh, he's got some grass in the pipes already. No. I want to hook up to these trailers. Oh, I guess my hitch is not quite close enough. I thought we was. There, that's a bit better. That's a bit better indeed. All right, we should get this front unfolded, though. Otherwise, I will forget. And then now, we're ready to rock. We don't even need the lights on. We're looking good. Oh, no, the pipe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Dancing out here. All right, well. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Sooner we get to it, sooner it's done. And, uh, you know, we're looking in a good spot here. We don't need to roll this field. We didn't get to roll in our other one either, but that's okay. We're in a good spot, and I'm not too worried about it, especially if we are going to plant some corn and do a silage harvest next season. That'll really be helpful and uh, should give us a fair bit of silage and uh, hay or whatever we need. Um, I guess probably silage, right, with the chaff, you know what I mean? All right, well, you know the drill. You know what we're doing. And uh, let's just get her done. And as soon as we do that, we can take care of our animals after that. Should not take us very long at all. Our chickens, we topped them up with food not too long ago. They seem like that lasts for a fair amount of time with those guys, so that's good. Our sheep, they could maybe use some if uh, we stroll on by and remember to do that. And then I think we might be able to uh, head up north at the end of the month here. So that should be pretty good. We'll see kind of all what uh, the winter has to offer and how much we can get done if we end up doing uh, a little vacation trip again and you know maybe just zooming through to the springtime a little bit but uh, we'll see you know there's not too much field work to get done thankfully if we can wrap everything up today which it looks like we're going to be able to we're on track for that so I'm looking forward to it all oh, right oh gosh see this is why I was doing the big spin a ruse so I wasn't missing any but I didn't I didn't there and I missed two little chunks but that's all right it's a lovely day let's just get to the work we're already almost full on this trailer and we're looking just fine
All right, coming to a close. That's pretty much all she wrote, except for these little, little, little bits. And you know what? We don't actually have that many missed bits today, which is kind of nice. I feel like normally there's a fair bit more than uh, than we have today, at least. So there you go. Oh, I should have just kept going straight. It's fine. It is what it is. We're not going to collect all the little pieces. We did pretty good, I would say. I think we can probably shut this guy off, turn down to pipe there, and, uh, well, we may as well just drive these back. Yeah, we already got them hooked up. What's the harm? And then uh, we'll come back and grab the other tractor. We can get the rest of this stuff unloaded, and, you know, we could uh, probably get some material moved over as well, if that's what we're doing. Although, I don't think we need the whole train for that. But, if she doesn't hurt. But, no, it is kind of annoying to have all four trailers. That is a lot to move around. Um, I'll drop off those there. Drop off these here. Uh, why did I drop off those there? That's blocking literally right where we need to be. That's alright. I think... We left ourselves space to snake around. You know, it's a big machine, but she's nimble. Cat-like reflexes. There you go. Look at that. Like a glove. Oh, no. The pipe. She's sticking out. Come on. Well, at least we lined it up nicely so that we wouldn't hurt the pipe <laughs> when we did that. Look at that. Perfect. All right, we got all hooked up now uh, with these two trailers, at least. We probably should just put those other ones away in a better spot, you know what I mean? But all around, the yard actually is quite nice to drive around now. I feel like it's a lot more efficient than it used to be. We got stuff in the right spot, and there's plenty of space to get around with bigger stuff as well as, you know, pretty much anything you need to. And it's... You know, all working like clockwork. Uh, we do have two manure pits because I wasn't 100% positive that the ranch barn was feeding into that one. But I think it actually is because the other one hasn't filled up at all. So we maybe could stand to get rid of that. But equally, it's not doing any harm by being there. So is what it is. And uh, we've pretty much dealt with all of the stuff we need to now. I believe all the stones are finished picking. The stones are all picked over on the uh, the round field there, so that is awesome. I'll take that. Uh, and the weeds are coming along. That field is pretty massive, though, so it's been a pretty big job. And uh, since we're here, let's just stock up what we can back into our mixing station over there. That way it's got plenty uh, to roll with, although there is, I think, still about half a million liters of mixed ration that is already made so that is awesome we can get it topped up with uh, a bunch of silage and a bunch of hay uh, refill the mineral feed as well and uh, then whenever we need to make some more we are good to go there but it'll be nice to try and get some of those intake bays a little bit more full you know, that way we just, you can see the material in there and it's like, all right, all right. We know we got stuff on backup, even if a lot is made and in the silos, you know, we have a lot ready to go. Always good to see. Kind of like keeping our straw bales there nice and uh, topped up. And we do have plenty more of those on the other farm too that they're just so far away. We just haven't gotten around to bringing them over this way yet, you know? So, well, these guys are empty, but I want to say it's the far one. No. Is it the middle one? Yeah, okay. It's the middle one for the silage and the far one is the hay. So, there you go. We'll uh, move as much of this material around as we can. We'll probably just do... Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe two, maybe three. Two for sure, maybe three. And then that should be plenty for now and give us time to make some more and let everything else that we put in there ferment and uh, turn into silage.
All right, we got the straw blowing, and uh, we're gonna go get some mix. Dished out for the cows. Our intakes are a little bit more full now, but still nothing too impressive. And, you know, while I was doing all of that, I was like, you know what, this is kind of a slow process. Even with having, let's say, four trailers, it wouldn't necessarily make it that much faster. Uh, I suppose it would be less trips, you know, but it would still take a while to fill everything up and move it around, right? So, I think we have a trailer that we can hook up to the semi-truck. And that one can hold, I think, 100,000 liters. And hopefully it can hold hay. If, uh, if it can't hold hay, we'll have to use the other trailers. But if it can, that would be very helpful. I'm pretty positive it can hold silage. And uh, we can move a lot more over a lot faster. So that might be the game plan. But I wanted to just hop in, get the animals here dealt with first. Wow, they actually took a uh, full wagon there. So these guys could potentially use a little bit more, although everyone else is actually topped up now. So, well, you know what? No, I think the ranch barn, they there was a little bit left over in here that we dumped off to them. So they didn't get a full wagon either. Uh, so you know what? We're going to fill up again. It doesn't hurt. This tractor is uh, mega quick, super Nice having this guy down here. And same with that thick pipe. Just absolutely distributing like a champion there. So that's going to let us come over here and uh, just drop this off real quick. We're making record time feeding our cows lately. It's been great. Back it on up. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Squeeze past the other guy. Boom, and we are going to pop back out, run the rest of what these guys uh, don't take out to the meadow. I don't imagine they are going to take everything in here. And then we should be pretty good. We can deal with the water right after that. And uh, we know these guys are probably good on straw now, considering they've uh, we started shredding that out there, and it's since stopped. We only have one bale in there, so unless they took the whole bale... I suppose that's possible, um, but uh, we'll go have a little peek see here. Uh, I don't feel like changing sides on the belt, so we're going to rip around this direction as we normally do, and they can have whatever's left there. Perfect. All right, and then that's nice and ready for the morning time. We can hop into this guy and deal with the water straight away. What's going on, Chief? You should be nice and topped up now. Alright, you came out of first gear. That's always promising. Oh boy, little bopski. Little scooter bop. Come on. Alright. Look at them. They're already here for the fresh water. It might get ugly. He's turning on his friend there. Oh, that sun is so bright with the sunset. You love to see it. You really do. And it's kind of nice having a tractor. It seems like overkill for uh, for every job that we got to do with the cows. But at the same time, it does make life a lot easier. And it seems like, you know, we just we don't have to uh, spend time disconnecting, reconnecting trailers and moving them around for the most part. We kind of are able to just roll right around in uh, whatever is hooked up and pretty much just hop in and go get the job done. So, hopefully, we can get these guys as well. Still half a bale left, so that is perfect. Can't ask for more. We can go in here. These guys probably won't even take all of that, but hopefully by tomorrow morning they will. We can put another fresh set of bales in here, and we keep it rolling. And you know what? Right after I finished talking about the manure situation... I noticed there is some manure starting to accumulate in the other pit there. We got a big old pile here, and I'm thinking this guy's been blocking some from uh, just expanding out. And yeah, as you can see, there is some in there. So, you know what? Heck, we're already in this guy. Why don't we just even it out a little bit? 
because I'm sure there is more in here than meets the eye. And they're nice and close. And, we, you know, with just how much we've uh, accumulated, we probably could look into actually spreading some on our fields as well as the slurry. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to move a lot over. Probably just a bucket or two. And we're looking good. All of our animals are dealt with now. I'm sure all the weeds are taken care of too. So that is awesome. Uh, we do have a milk tanker over there and the truck. And you know what? I was kind of saying, hey, do we need the truck? We didn't use it the other day. Wouldn't hurt. So we could just move some milk around. We don't necessarily have to take it to the one in town. Maybe we will. I'm not sure. But if we could just even move some over to our dairy we have on site here that would uh, that would be useful so that's looking a little bit better you know at least now there's some in here it's looking a little, little bit more respectable um, and like they both get used and they do you know Whoa, it's that's some heavy stuff right there and you know what this guy this is gonna be your new parking home now because uh, this guy's getting pretty full getting topped up quick and oh this evening light reflecting is so nice and you know what while we were driving by I noticed we don't have anything sitting in here for once so we might want to close that that way our cows don't just scop it all right we made it back with the tractor and the uh, stone picker implement there so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, we got all of that milk dropped off, too. They literally took the whole tanker. I wasn't expecting that from our small on-site dairy, but they did it. So that is awesome. Uh, everything else is finished up, so that is awesome. We got all the grass collected. We got some stuff moved over. We will probably continue on with that with a bigger trailer in the future there. Uh, but for now, all of our fields are taken care of. So that's looking just great going into the winter season now. And, uh, you know, we should be looking good to kind of just carry on, maybe make some sales in the new year, but keep just plugging on, looking forward to spring. So I'm going to hop back in and uh, we'll just disconnect real quick and head back up. We did actually use the truck today, so, you know, I don't need to feel that bad about it. I'll take that. And, uh, you know, it might be more animals to move to the slaughter soon. We'll see. Not sure how our beefy boys are doing, or our other cows for that matter. But we're looking good. Look at that sunset. What a great way to end the day. So, that's going to have to be it. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh. Sorry. No, that's going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry about that last little moment there. I got something in my throat. I don't know. I don't know. What's up? We're, not, we're, we're moving past it. Okay. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Okay. We'll, we'll move past it into tomorrow. We'll see you there. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Hi, dog.